in rounds three to four, work twelve single crochets in each round. Let's start. In round three, work twelve single crochets. Remove the marker. Insert hook into the first stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up loop. Yarn on hook. Pull through both loops on hook. Place a marker in the first single crochet. Continue to work the remaining single crochets until you finish this round. Okay, round three is done. In round four, also work twelve single crochets. Start from this market stitch. We work twelve single crochets in total. Remember to mark the first stitch. Okay, round four is done. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. In round five, work six decreases. Decrease is to combine two stitches into one stitch. Remove the marker. Insert hook through front loops of next two stitches. The loop close to us is a front loop. Okay. Hook the yarn and pull through two front loops on hook. Yarn on hook, pull through both loops on the hook. That's one decrease. Mark the first stitch. Finish five more decreases. Insert hook through the front loops of next two stitches. Hook the yarn and pull through two front loops. Yarn on the hook, pull through both loops on the hook. That's one decrease. Continue. Conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. Stuff it with fiber fill. Then put the hook back into the loop. Continue to finish the remaining decreases.
Do not hook the fiber fill out during crocheting. Okay, six decreases are done. Stretch the loop and remove hook. Break yarn. Pull the yarn tail out. Use a yarn needle to sew hole closed by stitching through the front loops of the last round. Thread the yarn tail through the needle. Remove the marker. Insert needle through the front loops of the last round. Do like this. Tighten the loop. Then conceal the yarn tail inside the fabric. And finally cut off any excess tail. Make two more pieces in the same way. Three pieces are completed. 